Hi, you're on Pogo Spot, and this is DevScoops, a rapid show and tell on tools and practices in cloud technology in general. And so if this tickles your fancy, hit the subscribe button. So let's get into it. On today's episode, I will be doing a show and tell on the different ways of implementing conditional statements when writing Terraform code. Let me create a new directory. And then I'm going to run my script to create the baseline Terraform code inside this directory. And then I'm going to launch VS Code from here. I'm not going to set any backend, so let me open my backend.tf. And then I'm going to create a block for my AWS instance resource. I will set the source of my AMI property to a data reference. I will add a filter block to fetch Ubuntu focal instance type like this. I will also add another filter block for the virtualization type. The next property that I need to set here is the owner's property. I will add another property called most recent and set the value to true. And now let me head back to my main.tf and then update the AMI property to point to the data reference that I just set. The next property that I need to set is the instance type. I will set the source of this property to a variable. So this is the first conditional statement in Terraform that I'd like to point out. When I add a default value for this variable, I end up creating an implicit conditional statement. And now that that's defined, let me head back to my main.tf and then update the instance type property to use the variable that I just created. Let me create a Telegram configuration file in here that I will use to verify my infrastructure. I'm going to set the Terraform source directory to the current directory. And then I'm going to define the inputs block, but leave it empty. Let me head to my VS Code terminal. And now I'm going to run Telegram plan. If I scroll up this output and check the instance type of the resource that will be created, it shows that the instance type is t3.micro. Now, if I head back to my Telegram configuration file, and then if I head back to my VS Code terminal and rerun Telegram plan, and then if I scroll up to check the instance type, the instance type has changed to m5a2xlarge. The next conditional statement that I'm going to show is the most obvious conditional statement in Terraform. To show this, I'll head to my variables at TF and define a new variable. Now, let me switch back to my main.tf. I'm going to add a unary operator to check the value of my new variable and set the instance type accordingly. The first segment involves the condition being checked followed by a question mark. And then the next segment is the value that will be set if the condition is true. And then the colon character. And then the final segment which goes after the colon character is the value if the condition is false. So let me head to my VS Code terminal and then rerun Telegram plan. The instance type is set back to T3 micro. And this is because of the new conditional statement that I added in the code. If I go back to my code and head to my Telegram configuration file, I'm going to add the new input variable and set it to false. And then rerun Telegram plan. The instance type has now changed to M5A2XLarge. Let's have a look at the final conditional statement. So let me head back to my VS Code Explorer. I'm going to head to my variables at TF and I'm going to define a new variable flag in here. And then I'm going to switch to my main.tf and consume this variable. So my requirement is to create this EC2 instance resource if the create instance variable is set to true. The way to do that is by adding a property on this block called count. What I can do is add a unary operator on my count property that evaluates the create instance variable like this. Now, if I head to my VS Code terminal and rerun Telegram plan, if I scroll all the way up to this output, the resource path contains an index. So let me head back to my VS Code Explorer and explain further what this means. If, for instance, I want to access a property of the resource, let's say I want to output the instance type. So let me head to my outputs.tf and create this block. If my resource does not use count property, I can set the value of this output as a plain reference to a property of the resource like this. But because I use count property, which means I have one element in the list of resources that I created, I need to modify the value source and add an index on the resource name like this. 
So what I can do to make sure that this does not fail is add another unary operator in here that evaluates the value of the create instance variable. If the flag is set to false, I will set the output value to null. So let me go to my Telegram configuration file and add the new variable in here and set the value to false. And then if I head to my VS Code terminal and then rerun Telegram plan, the output says no changes, which means no resources will be created. And that's it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, see ya.